Bill. It's May 29th, 2019. We're redoing the episode on the BenQ EW800ST short throw projector due to some technical difficulties. It's casual Friday. And let's let's uh, let's get some knowledge laid down on here. So this is how you can log into the panel with an NFC card. Um, so basically, this is another BenQ industry first. Uh, BenQ is the first smart projector, not smart branded projector, but smart projector like a smart TV, meaning it's got a built-in Android, built-in web browser, and it actually can do a lot, a lot of the things that interactive flat panels can do. Uh, only, you know, so if you're on a budget or you need a larger image, you know, this may be the way to go versus a non-interactive panel. And it can work with um, AMS and uh, Xsign and some of the other software that people love on our panels. Uh, so BenQ is the number one DLP brand of projectors worldwide, number two brand overall behind Epson. Shout out to my old former colleagues at Epson. Um, let's go into the, into the projector now. And it's, it's, it's a DLP projector. It's got an IP5X certified filter, filter free, which means there's no filters to clean. Um, it's one level below waterproof, which is IP6X. Uh, um, it also is DLP, you're not gonna get the color fading and things like that that you might get with 3 OCD. So first of all, uh, right now you see we're not logged in as anybody. You can see the date and everything. Don't worry about the image. I just kind of slapped this up. This is like a 15 year old projector screen uh, given to me by somebody at Daylight, Andre or Stephanie. I can't remember which one, but if there's anybody at Daylight, Draper or Stewart or some screen company, you know, reach out to me, send me one. I'll get you some shout outs and I can use it for my demos. Great. So first of all, we're going to want to, want to log into this projector here. So there's three ways to do it. One way is you can use this or a wireless keyboard, or you can put an app on your phone to use as a keyboard. You're probably going to want to do one of those things. Uh, but you can type out your username and password. That's one way. You don't want the students being able to see it. It takes longer. And I don't want to give out my password, so I'm not going to do that right now. The other way would be to uh, go to recent users, and I was recently a user here, and then I could type in my password that way. Or I can turn it over to my camera man and swap out and let him show how to do it with the phone. My son, John Bilkey, uh, electrical engineering student at MSOE, if you can't read his t-shirt, uh, he's gonna show how to log in using the QR code reader. QR reader app. Um, you need to start the login process with the QR code. You just scan the code, uh, open the link. So this is specific to this app that I'm using. On his Blackberry. <laughs> yep. And then we would just log in this way. So, <laughs> so he's typed in the username and password, which we didn't want everybody to see. Now go ahead and hit login. You see it says login in the lower cuff left corner of the panel right now. So log in successful. Log in successful. And, there and now you see my name down there at the corner. Um, all right, let's switch. Sure. All right, so let's go into this projector. Uh, if you hit the lower left corner, you can see uh, things like your network drive, uh, connected to the Google Drive, which will go to in a little bit later, but I could also go to the internal drive, or my folder, or I could put a USB thumb drive in there for PC free presenting. Um, personal settings, I, you can set it to automatically log you out whenever you want. This works just like our BenQ interactive flat panels, the RP6501K that I have here, but really any of the BenQ interactive flat panels, you can uh, log in as we did with this device. Um, or that QR code reader as I had done earlier, and you can go to any room in the school and your data follows you, whether it's a, the panel or the smart projector. 
That's one of the nice things about our product versus the competitors, some of the competitive panels. You can only assign three people to a panel and their information doesn't follow them around the school, or as it does for us. So I can set out a log out time. So if I log, if you were to log in here, it logs you out of the other one. So I'm not logging as a substitute teacher for here and me as the admin over here to avoid that. Um, that keeps everything nice and secure. And a service you can turn on or off. Account management service is what allows you to connect to the cloud, the Google Drive, uh, Google Drive Dropbox, OneDrive, and uh, Moodle, something like that. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? So you can do on, offline accounts and here names it. So it's, you know, my admin name is Ben QAD 2019, and I just named it School District. Let's go into AMS first. So here you can see that um, I'm connected to Google Drive based upon that clip. I didn't set up Dropbox, OneDrive, Moodle yet. You can map to the network drive, your internal memory that it has, or a folder, or if I put a USB thumb drive in there, I can also get information off of there. Uh, so this is connected, as you'll see, there's no cables down here. I'm connected right to my Google Drive and I'm playing this video off of my Google Drive. Okay. Let's see, let me also go to this Google Drive here. You can have my drive, a shared drive, or a team drive. I didn't set up a team drive. Um, but another thing is you can open up a PowerPoint or a PDF or a JPEG on here. So here's a picture I took of a shootout of our panels versus the Epson. So there's the Epson Brightlink. It was a brand new one, uh, one of the new models versus my 70 inch interactive flat panel. You can see how much brighter it is. Uh, the light kind of fades the projectors. That's the downside of the projectors, but obviously you get the larger image. And I don't know if I mentioned, but this has a 999 MSRP, which is very low. Uh, let me also just open up a PowerPoint or uh, let me open up a PDF. Okay. So here's the uh, BenQ InstaShow, which is our wireless presentation device. And uh, here you can see some features on it. There's my number email. We have a good first time buyer's price on this as well. So I can just pull up Word documents, uh, I mean, power, uh, JPEGs, PowerPoint, etc., off of the cloud. And you can save to the cloud as well. So that's the account management feature again that's done because, you know, there's no connections here. This is all wirelessly connected over the network. Uh, so the BenQ Suggest Store, that's what allows you to add apps. Um, so we've got apps on there like Blizz is a video conferencing app. Uh, Team Viewer uh, allows you to remotely connect into the projector and you can analyze it and uh, remotely fix it. Uh, Firefox is built into this, which is the browser. So I can go to a YouTube page, for example. Let's play one uh, on Chris here. So Chris Martin's our senior field application engineer. Um, and he also helps me edit some of my videos. So there's a little shout out to Chris. This is actually my YouTube page. So that's uh, playing a YouTube video or from, from my uh, YouTube page uh, over, over the internet. And then we already talked about quick support. Let's go down to here. Uh, so there you can see the file manager would be if I had a thumb drive, I can switch to HDMI or VGA. There's, there's some of the apps that I have loaded. Let's look at the system. So we're connected to the internet. It can also be its own hotspot. Um, it can connect to Bluetooth. I can adjust the volume here. You can see the apps, which we've already done. In the About section, uh, it'll tell you a little bit about the projector. It's XGA, it's 3300 lumens. 
Right now we're in smart eco mode. Um, you can switch from presentation mode to sports mode, other modes, etc. I've used it for about six hours. You can see the firmware version and uh, we can actually update that over the over the air updates. So that's that. I can go down to the Android system now, the built-in Androids version 6. Tells you how much RAM we have, 877, storage capacity. There's five gigs in there of open storage capacity. You can find the MAC address there. Software update, I already did that, but all you do is you can update by USB or over the air if I was just to click into there. And here's where you can see the version of the software. So if you're talking to a tech support, they can walk you through that. Privacy announcements, Android, you can reset the whole Android if you want. Um, another thing we've got, the picture here again, that, that'll change it presentation mode, video mode, different types of mode here on SRGV. If you want, you can have preset modes. Um, you can adjust the brightness here. Anyway, contrast the sharpness. That, that would switch, change it from eco mode to you know always on high brightness. There's keystone correction, which I didn't use. Projector, I can put it into table mode or ceiling mounted. 3D, 3D. I don't see 3D on DL, uh, three LCD projectors, you'd have to stack a couple three LCD projectors to be able to do 3D. Uh, this is already 3D ready, so if 3D comes back, <laughs> we're ready. Um, screen settings, okay. It just has some shortcuts, the day and time, you can set the time zone and format. Language, multiple languages, keyboard, different keyboard shoot choices and again the service again that takes us back to that screen that we could have gotten to from the other way. Um, let me see if there's anything here of interest. No. Okay so the last thing would be to show uh, how we can wirelessly project. So this has AirPlay and Miracast built into this panel. Um, so I can connect uh, via Windows, Android, iPhone, Chromebook as well. So I'm going to show, I'm going to connect those various ways. So let's start out with Windows. There's a little bit of instructions on it, but basically if John comes over here, um, and all I can do here is, oops, I should let me, uh, let me go over to here and go to these three dots and I can go cast. So it sees the BenQ 800. ST, I clicked on it, and now I'm mirrored to the, to the device. Okay, so there's, there's that. Uh, while we're here, let's go over to X sign. Let's add the device. Uh, let me see what I'm gonna have to do. So I'll have to load the um, XI app is here. RZ4 UF, I'll never remember that. But basically what we do is we put that number in into here and that'll connect us and then I can send a uh, wireless uh, messages, wireless broadcasts. It could be just like with the panels and I've got a video that I just did of XI and I'll Copy and paste the demo of that onto here, even though it won't be. Now we're going to have uh, Claudia connect her Chromebook to the BenQ EW800ST smart projector to show how easy it is. So all you need to do is click these three dots in the top right corner, click cast, and then find the BenQ device. And then you can so cast it right onto click it. the three dots, cast. And since Miracast is built into the projector, you're good to go. All right, now on the iPhone. Okay, on the phone, all you need to do is swipe down from the top, press screen mirroring, find BenQ on there, and then... Oh. 
you turn sideways, you turn sideways and you can scroll. All right, now, John. All right, this is an Android device. Okay, here's standard for All right, okay. so all you gotta do is pull down from there, hit casting in your quick settings, E800, and there you go, and I can rotate. Oh, there we go. All right, nice job, guys. Easy peasy. And uh, also the instructions are here too. So if you go to the screen, click uh, let's on. Let's see, so I talked about the, um, it's an Android browser apps, AMS, logins. I opened up a video, I opened up a PDF. I did not open a PowerPoint, but trust me, it works. Yeah, compared it to a smart TV or non-interactive, it's gonna be less expensive than a non-interactive. And it's gonna be less expensive than a panel, but it won't have the touch, but it will give you a bigger image. I showed how you can connect to Windows. Um, again, it has AirPlay and Miracast built in. As far as the uh, remote here, it also has a little pointer on it, laser pointer. So I can use this as a laser pointer. Uh, it's got picture and picture. If I had a couple devices going, I could do picture and picture. Um, the remote there. It's got the home button that you can use. So basically it's the first smart projector on the market, built in Android, built in browser, ability to do account management systems so you can connect right to the cloud, Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, Moodle, et cetera, and, and save your data and it's gonna follow you to every classroom in the district or every meeting room that you have. Um, and it's got quick support features and you could load apps to it. I could add probably a Nearpod, for example, and I could be doing some of that or Excel or various other apps that you may use for learning and I'll do all this PC free. Um, so there's also a gear there to pull up that. Home button. Switch system. So I think that's a pretty good demo of this product. Thank you for your time. And I'll tag on the X sign demo. Okay, let's try this again. So we've got the BenQ EW800ST short throw. Lamped projector, it's under a thousand dollar map. It has, it's a built in, it's a smart projector, the first one on the market. It has a built in Android operating system. It can connect to our AMS just like our panels. It can connect to Xsign just like our panels. Uh, so let's go to the computer real quick. All right, here's where we go to the Xsign software. You can pick the fixed text, scrolling text, an image, videos, YouTube video link, which we pasted in there. Then you can pick your panels and projectors. You can tag them so you can select certain groups or all panels in the district. This is my webpage. Hey, everybody. Bill Bilkey, Director of Business and Education. There are the panels a little faster. So you can select out of a video, text scrolling text message, daily announcements, live. Um, and then now for the projector, what you do is you just click on the home button on the remote. Hit the home and confirm that you do want to exit it and you're out and you're out of there. So that's how XSign works between on both the panel and our smart projector. So hopefully that helps setting up X sign, setting up DMS.